Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about Anzac Day, which is coming up this, this weekend on Saturday. And usually at ELC we talk about that. And some of you might remember that I've shared with you the medals that my dad received when he was in the Navy. And also these other medals, which were my grandfather's from the First World War. When he rode his horse, he took his horse from his farm in Bendigo and took it on a ship overseas with other people from the army and used that to get around. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? So Anzac Day is for us to remember the Anzacs, as they're called, when they landed at Gallipoli. And there was a terrible fight there and a lot of people got hurt. But this is a day for us to remember all the wonderful things people have done for us in the armed forces to protect our country, Australia, and make it a safe place. So often on this day, people get up at dawn when the sun rises, which was the time that the people in Gallipoli in 1915 did that, and we get up really early and a lot of people go to RSL clubs or they might go to the Shrine of Remembrance so that they can remember all the wonderful things people have done for Australia. So this is a great book. My Granddad Marches on Anzac Day. And look, he's got medals on, just like my dad's. On Anzac Day, we get up very early. It's still dark. We drive in the dark and park the car. We put on our coats. It's always cold. We wait at the memorial for the sun to come up. There are sad poems and singing and we say, lest we forget. A bugle plays a lovely song. Then guns fire at the sky once, twice and three times. It makes me jump and it scares the seagulls. Later, we have cake and hot chocolate to warm us up and then we find our spots for the parade. Daddy gives me a badge just like this. See the big A? A for Anzac. I sit on Daddy's shoulders. It's a very long wait, but my granddad will come and my granddad marches on Anzac Day. He wears his best jacket and has shiny medals on his chest. He doesn't have much hair on his head, but he does have a big moustache. Granddad knows where we will be waiting. He always smiles at me. Lots of people are marching their legs all moving in time. Some of them play music and I feel their drums boom in my chest. Granddad marches with his friends. He remembers when they were young. He remembers when he was young. He marches for all his friends who can't march, and he marches for us. Some people can't walk, some are pushed in wheelchairs, and some ride in cars. We clap and we wave as they go past. Well done, boys and girls, my dad calls out. They smile shyly and they look pleased. Oh, 
my granddad marches to remember all his friends who couldn't be there. And that's where my granddad got all of his medals. After the parade, my dad says, I am proud of you, mate, to granddad. He has tears in his eyes. Granddad is quiet. He is still remembering. One day, I will march on Anzac Day and I will do the remembering. And they are going home together. There's also a special herb that I always wear on Remembrance Day as well, called rosemary. Maybe you can see if you've got rosemary in your garden because that smell reminds us and makes us remember how grateful we are for everything people did in lots of world wars which they were in. Right, no march to this year, um, but hopefully you will see or hear some things about it um, on your blog. So stay tuned. Okay, bye.